Hello, welcome or welcome back to Budget with Mads. This video is going to be um, my 2023 savings challenge binder setup video. God, that was hard for me to get out. Um, let me know what you think about the camera angle, by the way. I've kind of changed it up. I think maybe this will work a bit better. Uh, I'm not really sure. Um, so just let me know. Um, so this is going to be my 2023 setup um, for my savings challenge binder. The rest of it should stay relatively the same. I'll keep you updated in future videos on whether or not any of that changes, but for now I'm just going to show you which savings challenges I'm going to be using and popping them in my little empty binder that we just unstuffed. I'm so upset. <laughs> um, right, so let's just get straight into it. So, I've got the one month ahead savings challenge. I also haven't picked what order I'm going to put these in. Uh, so, you can help me with that, <laughs> I suppose. The cats are running absolute riot. I'm just going to stick my scissors on here. I know it's probably not going to look very aesthetically pleasing, but I just need something to weigh it down. Um, I think the one month ahead, I'm going to put towards the back, um, just because it is definitely uh, like a long-term savings thing. Um, so, sorry, I don't know if I said each house is worth 50, which saves a total of 1,500. I'm just going to pop this down. There are some that I kept um, in here, such as the cat savings, my birthday fund, the treat yourself challenge, and the furniture fund for when I move out. So they are all staying. I'm going to carry on building those. Um, we're just adding these new ones to it. But look how cute that looks. <laughs> um, I'm also doing a glasses saving fund and a dentist saving fund because unfortunately um, those are really annoying things that I need to save up for. I also wanted to, to do a clothes savings challenge so sorry this saves 200, this saves 200 and this saves 120. Um, do you know I might as well put these towards the back as well because um, they are ones that I'm probably not going to be hopefully touching for a while um so they can stay towards the back i suppose i'll probably end up changing the order of these about five thousand times but we'll see um so we've got clothes shopping which saves 300 christmas Ooh. i feel like okay so we'll stick Christmas in here. I feel like I should have planned this out before I did this on camera. Um, but also, is it fun doing it together? I don't know. I'm going to put Christmas um, right before the one month ahead savings because that's obviously not going to be touched until the end of this year, which is crazy to even think about. Um... I am also doing vacation fun, but this is going in my other binder. So, shopping, clothes, events, which saves 250 Each champagne glass, I love these, is worth five. Rainy day, Mother's Day, Father's Day. And then, we've got some challenges here. I think these ones will go in the front. Oh, I forgot one. I forgot my classic one, two, three, four, five challenge for the rollover. I have got a new tin, you guys, and it's, in my opinion, much cuter than the last one, which I don't really think is that hard. <laughs> um, but I can't wait to show you that one. Um, but yeah, these are the, I want to say generic savings challenges that I'm setting in. Um, generic only because they don't have a specific purpose. Um, so they'll just go towards my house deposit. So I've got the 12 month challenge again, but the 500 version. Um, I do also want to do the flowers um, savings challenge that I have, but I want to reduce the amount to 500. So I'm toying with that idea and I'll let you know if I'll add it in here as well. Um, we've got the 20 pound challenge. So each moon is 20 and it saves 400. That is going in there. Um, we've got the £10 challenge, it's just a classic, um, save £250. Um, you might be wondering why um, I'm using some of the same challenges, like the £10 challenge and the £5 challenge, um, and I haven't just continued with the ones I already had. Um, I just kind of want to start 
um, afresh and see how much I can save um, this year. It's not going to be as much um, as I was able to save the past year, um, but it is definitely something that I want to look into. So that's actually all of the envelopes <laughs> taken off already. Um, let's have a look at which ones we have left. These are all kind of ones, so I wasn't sure how to balance them between this binder, which is kind of like a sinking funds one, and the savings one. I just know that Disney, which is looking very bare apart from its dollars right now, um, I'm putting in this blank, this blank, <laughs> this blank vacation fund. Um, I'm going to make each globe. Can you still see each globe worth six pounds to save a total of another 300 i'm gonna shove that in here is that open yep <laughs> shove that in there so i can start tracking my last bit of progress with disney oh you can't even see it says disney anymore um that's holidays gifts blah 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 Savings, I can take out all of these um, placeholders now, I didn't even think about that. Empty savings. <laughs> Back to bank. Yeah, all of these can kind of be sinking funsy kind of things. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Let me go see if I have six envelopes left, one second. I've just had a look. I've actually sold all of my cash envelopes. <laughs> so thank you very much to everyone who ordered. Um, but let me order some more in and then I'll complete this video um, once I have those. Um, hopefully the transition isn't too different for you. But yes, for now, I'll just stick these ones into savings. And I guess I will see you in two seconds for you. <laughs> Hello, sorry if the lighting and the angle has changed. Um, it's now a few days later and I have my um, envelopes that have been delivered so I can complete the budget setup video. I've um, also done my nails in the meantime, so I hope you like them. First time I've done them in forever, so I feel great about it. I only did them last night and I love them. They're just press on by the way, so nothing's that special. Um, okay, kind of forgot where I was, so didn't I put them in here? Yeah, here they are. So we still got these ones to do. So Father's Day, Mother's Day, rainy day, events, shopping, and clothes. I think I actually am gonna put um the remainder of the challenges in this one i might rejig and change the order at some point but for now this is how i'm going to do it so what have we got in here so far gifts holidays disney oh i was going to say i'll put petrol more towards the front but i realize the only reason i've kept it there is to be with car so i'll leave that as it is Emergency and savings will stay towards the back. Car. Yes, yeah, so I think I'll keep Joey and Phoebe's and gifts here. I'm going to put holidays actually behind Disney. Because Disney will be now coming before any other holiday I go on. And currently I'm not actively really stuffing holidays any at the minute anyway. Because um, it's got £500 which is currently in premium bonds, so I won't need to um, put any more into that for now. Okay, so I'm just going to do Mother's Day and Father's Day first. So I'll do... Okay, wait, how many have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, great. That is perfect. Okay, 
thought it would just be easier to add all of those in first. So, Mother's Day. This one, um, each icon saves £5 to make a total of £75 saved for Mother's Day. Same with Father's Day. If I haven't said it in this video already, um, all of these savings challenges are available on my Etsy. If you wanted to check them out, the link is in the description. Now, with these four, I don't really think it matters what order I'm going to put it in. I just think I'm going to put the rainy day one at the back. Okay, I'll go rainy events, clothes and shopping. We'll just do it like that. So the clothes one, I forgot to mention, um, each icon, so each shirt or each pair of trousers is worth five, saves a total of 120. Um, my shopping savings challenge, each stack of cash is worth 10 pounds and it saves a total of 300. The events one here, um, each champagne flute is worth five pounds and this saves a total of 250. And then this rainy day savings one. Um, each rain cloud is worth 10, um, which saves a total of 200. These all do come in blank versions as well, so you can choose how much you want to save and how much each icon is worth for yourself. Okay, so that is everything in there. I'm going to have to switch around some of the envelopes because they're all facing the same way, but I'll do that off camera. Um, okay, so I guess I'll do a quick run through so we're doing the one two three four five challenge oh one thing i did forget actually um i did actually also make the 500 uh flower savings challenge as opposed to the 1k one i did cut it off in the printing but just because it's mine and it's not going to be sold um i don't really mind that much um, but I can add this to my Etsy if you do want it because I have this in a 1k version where it's 20, 30, 40, 50 and then these two are 80. Oh, I forgot the little 40 there. Oh, it's there. <laughs> I'm a donut. Um, let me know if that's something that you would like as well, but I'm just going to add this in as well. So glad I remembered that, otherwise this would have been a three-part video. <laughs> so... So yeah, the one, two, three, four, five for our rollover coins, 12 month, 500 pound savings challenge, the 500 pound flower savings challenge, 20 pound moon, um, which saves a total of 400, 10 pound challenge, which saves 250, five pounds challenge, which saves 100, my dental savings, glasses fund, Christmas savings, my one month ahead, um, the cats for their vet bills, my birthday fund, the treat yourself, furniture, this is for, I think I said earlier in the video for when I move out, I have moved out and I do live by myself, but this is um, to buy kind of like my dream furniture when I buy my first place instead of rent. Um, and then this is just my rollover. As for this one, we've got Joey and Phoebe's gifts, Mother's Day, Father's Day, clothes, shopping, events, rainy day, Disney, holidays, petrol, car maintenance, emergency fund and savings and just back to bank. Um, and my daily spending minor hasn't changed, so that is everything. That will be my 2023 setup. Um, and if it changes, I will let you know. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.